top model. Here's a look. Talk to us a little bit about your experience with America's Top Model. It's a crazy experience and like you really lose yourself in it. Like a lot of people ask on reality shows in general. Like, you know, is the drama real? Is it scripted? Is it, do people, uh, or do the producers or whatever behind the scenes kind of like set up drama? Yeah. And the truth is, um, it's all completely organic. And people are like, ah, is it just a bunch of crazy people? Well, yes. <laughs> There's 50,000 people that submit for the show. Top Model is a reality show out to first, and then yeah. modeling competition second. So we had like challenges like doing the runway show with mm -hmm. stilts. I watched that episode. I, 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 I don't <laughs> think Kyra may have ever done a runway show. Yeah. Stilts. But she's really good at judging how we did all on the runway shows. <laughs> but, you know, then the show ends and, and airs, and I gotta give credit to Top Model. They do a really, really good job of um, trying to make everyone look their best mm -hmm. based off of like all the circumstances that yeah. happen. Overall, I'm here sitting here because of the show, so I'm happy with it. I know before you got into modeling, you were a football star. Did you find, I know you were skeptical about getting into modeling. Talk to us a little bit about that. I, my whole like life, it was sports, you know, baseball, football, anything I could do. I mean, it was like around the clock from a very young age, like sports, 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 so dedicated. And, you know, I would pray every night, God, please let me be a pro football player. Like, that was the dream. Yeah. Like, about, like, a week after living in Los Angeles, uh, I was walking through a mall, and a guy came up to me and said, uh, hey, do you want to do a, this photo shoot? You look perfect for it. Yeah. And I had a big stigma against male models in general, and so I told the guy, no, you got the wrong dude. Keep walking. Mm -hmm. Someone else, I'm sure, sure, go to Abercrombie and Fitcher Hollister, go find someone that probably yeah. will do this photo shoot. But anyway, uh, he was like, you know, it pays this amount of money. And uh, and so I was like, well, I think it might have some free time. I might do it. And then the photo shoot was published, and then agencies contacted the photographer, which contacted me, and uh, the rest is history. And that was in 2011. And last but not least, what's the best advice someone ever gave you? The best thing you can ever have is people that believe in you. Your strongest asset is people that believe in you. And uh, I would say that the people that you surround yourself with that uh, verbally or unverbally or just emotionally or spiritually believe in what you move, move, toward, move forward with is, um, that's the best advice anyone could ever give you. It's just believing in you as a human being. That's it for this episode of On The Scene Network. I'm Daryl Roy. Thanks for watching. For more entertainment updates, subscribe on YouTube, as well as watch us on AOL and Huffington Post.